So Neil, one all, how does it feel? Heartbreaking. Um, I, know, I know we're, we're only minutes after kickoff, and it all happened in the last five minutes. Talk us through it. Yeah, I mean, um, I thought we were excellent, especially second half. I thought we asked loads and loads of questions of Eastbourne. I thought their keeper was magnificent, uh, made some great saves and thought they defended well. Um, maybe a couple of couple of times we should have done better. I think Togs had a great chance. Wells, he's had a great header. Um, um, but on a really, really hot day, uh, having played on Saturday, uh, literally having 48 hours to turn around, I thought we were magnificent. And... Uh, and we kept on going. We kept on going. We we, we we sent on attacking players. We were very attacking at the end. And yeah, once once again you changed. Last three games you've you've taken some offensive you know substitutions and, and really grabbed it by the scruff. And at one point you looked like you had five six forwards on. Yeah, uh, listen, we we know we knew that we had to win win games of football the last few weeks, and it becomes very different than probably earlier on in the season when you know you don't want to lose points. Um, you know, you you want to you want to try try and win the game, and that's exactly what we've done for the last few weeks. And as I say, I think our lads have been brilliant. Um, How much did the heat affect the match today? Yeah, I mean, it's, it slows it down a little bit, but probably more so first half. As I say, I thought second half we were we were on top. I thought they were probably content with a point, and they were sitting in trying to make it hard for us. And as I say, their keepers keepers made some brilliant saves today. And um, to go one 0 up in the 90th minute. Um, what did I, you make of the penalty? Well, I didn't see. Well, um, I obviously didn't watch the penalty because I couldn't. Um, uh, we didn't see anything. The, the linesman said uh, he he sort of moved his elbow towards the ball. Um, he was adamant that it was a penalty. Referee obviously hadn't given it, so uh, I can't I can't comment if it was a penalty. It, it, if it had been given against you, would you have felt guided? Well, no, because I couldn't see it, so I, I can't I can't comment on it because I didn't see what happened. So. Um, it was given. Uh, Billy stepped up and said, "I haven't watched the penalty." And and then, um, you know, we've we've got to try and hold hold out for six minutes. And unfortunately, it's just not happened. You know, I think they've uh, just got one one in over the top and just got in. And the lad sort of just got there before Jack, and he's sort of made the save, and it's fallen nicely to the lad. And it's uh, it's absolutely heartbreaking. Obviously, Billericay have lost the the game as their game as well, which um, would have meant that we were going into the last game, you know, a point off the playoffs, which. It's just a remarkable, remarkable achievement from the from the lads, to be honest. From from where we were, um, probably six to eight weeks ago, um, people were saying that you know our players were, had given it up and, and we were going to sort of coast through to the end of the season. And we're nine unbeaten now. We've won six and drawn three. I mean that's that's title winning form. And it's just a shame it it didn't maybe start a week or two uh, too earlier. Uh, what was a draw a fair result today? No, no, not at all. I think we fully deserve to win the game. Um, I can't imagine that they would say that that we didn't deserve to win the game. Um, they're, they're, uh, listen, I, I'm surprised they're down down there. Um, they've got some very good players in their side, and I thought first five minutes they started brilliantly, um, and, uh, and we we were under the cosh. We looked a little bit sloppy uh, early on, and uh, and I say they're they're a good side. So. Um, you don't beat Dartford 6-0 if, if you're not a good side. So uh, they probably had an indifferent season, probably one that they're probably quite frustrated with. Um, but I, I felt that we deserved to win the game and unfortunately we just haven't haven't done that. Um, In front of a good crowd today? Yeah, I don't know what was the crowd today. I think 9.05. Okay, so yeah, you know, ideally we're, 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 we're trying to push this place to try and get to 1,000 and, you know, um, it's, uh, it's something that we've been trying to do for the last couple of years and it'd be great if we can get ourselves up there. But no, it's a, that's a good crowd uh, today and yeah just a uh, tinge with disappointment really because it, it would have been amazing to take it into the last game at Truro um, uh, and uh, have that possibility of, of playoffs in your first year but let's 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 be honest we've we've had a uh, another brilliant FA Cup run second round proper um, we've we, we've gone very very close in the league we've not been embarrassed at all all season uh, I think we've given everyone a game uh, we've got the vast majority of the players agreed to stay for next season, and we're looking to add one or two, or maybe two or three, to that. Um, and we want to we want to try and push on. Uh, I think we've we've proved that we can string uh, performances together, and uh, that we can be hard to break down. And and uh, yeah, just uh, I mean, it's so raw raw now. Um, we were literally a minute minute and a half away from from uh, taking it to the last game of the season. And who stood out for you today? Who who shone in the Rebel shirt? Listen, I, th I just think uh, I don't really want to pick anyone out individually. I think uh, as a as a side, again, uh, in unbearable conditions, people don't sometimes understand how how hard it is to play 
the type of tempo football that, that the players play um, in this, this heat and, and with the 3G it, it burns your feet. We've got Togs brought off again for his feet. Yeah, he's got blisters. I mean we've got probably five or six in there that are running with huge blisters on their on their feet. Um, in absolute agony probably and uh, um, but massive credit to them, they just kept on going and uh, and on another day we're, we're, we're celebrating three points and, and uh, taking it to the to Truro, but not to be, uh, however we've got to now be professional, um, go to Truro, try and get try and get the result to um, finish as high as we can and, and then hopefully uh, um, uh, a cup final uh, on Bank on Lay Monday. And a big long day out there, you're hoping for a few Rebels down there, buy them a pint? <laughs> yeah, well, we've, uh, we, we want to thank the, the supporters for their unbelievable support this year, uh, especially away from home. They've been absolutely phenomenal, if I'm, if I'm brutally honest. They've been loud, they've, they've been supportive. Um, they get right behind us, get right up behind the players, and uh, it's, it's been a joy, really, this season. Uh, obviously, we've had a, had a few, few moments where, where it's not gone quite right. We had the, the spell where we were seven without a win, and... Um, but as I say, that's, that's football and you just have to get over it and I think we've got over it pretty well. And personally for you and John, first season in this level of football as managers, are you now building with Slough for this next season? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we want to we want to try and improve. It's uh, it's not going to get any easier. Um, you've got some some big sides that are going to be coming down from uh, from the Conference National and uh, some some sides coming up. And obviously, Dorking Wanderers. You know, there there's no uh, you know they're they're a well financed side, should we put it? Um, they're going to be a real threat. You've got teams like Dulwich who are going to be a real threat next year. I understand Eastbourne are going to have a, a substantially different budget next year, and and they're going to be a threat as well and there's going to be a it's going to be a really really tough year next year I think there's only two go down um, first and foremost we've got to start and and, um, and try and make sure that we 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 get wins on the board early and and, and then we'll see where we go but now looking forward to it already um, not well, looking forward to the break I never look forward to the break probably I've, I've about a holiday one one or two holidays and uh, but you, you're always on the go and uh, myself and John will be be busy and uh, but so we've, we've done we've done quite a lot of that work before the end of the season looking for some additions to bring into the squad yeah, yeah, talking yeah. to players yeah yeah we've already started doing that and uh, uh, obviously nothing much will happen between uh, over the next sort of few weeks because people are finishing off their seasons but no we're, 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 we're actively actively busy and uh, yeah we as I say we just want to improve uh, I think as a club it's just gone from strength to strength uh, it's a wonderful club I love we love being here uh, Steve is just absolutely a, a dream chairman um, Unfortunately, there's people like yourself that so we have to deal with as well. Um, but no, it's, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, great, great volunteers. Um, it's a real family feel, and uh, yeah, we absolutely love it, and uh, we can't wait. Cheers. Thanks for your time, Cheers, John. Thank you.